Uh, inspirational indeed. Now, when it comes to the disease lymphoma, it is often misdiagnosed and there is a huge amount of misinformation going around about the disease. Yet, with a little bit of an education on the symptoms and the subtypes, we could really make massive strides in stemming the disease. It can be beaten. Well, recently, Tenji had the pleasure and honor of sitting down with Lawrence Britton, who of course took a silver medal at the Rio Olympics in rowing to find out how he conquered this disease and came out victorious on a number of levels. Today is World Lymphoma Awareness Day and Lawrence Britton, who's made all of our South Africans so proud by winning the silver medal for rowing at the Rio 2016 Olympics, is here to share how this often misdiagnosed illness has affected his life. So Lawrence, obviously in the build up to the Olympics, you were training really hard, almost two to three times a day. Anyone's body would take strain, but unbeknownst to you, you were actually experiencing symptoms of lymphoma, which were presenting themselves as other illnesses. Can you tell us more about that experience? Yeah, so actually it was, uh, so I had uh, Hodgkin's lymphoma from, uh, after I was diagnosed there, there I had it from 2012-ish, somewhere there, and then I was diagnosed in October 2014, and that whole time I was just training harder and harder and better, and really looking for, for all the little the little edges that I could get, and, and not getting any faster, and, and we're always wondering why, why we why the why we're not getting the performance that we want, why we're not getting the, the improvements that we, we, we expected, because I mean the training was really good, I wasn't, when training two to three times a day, it's not, and they're not getting any faster, you're always gonna wonder. The statistics when it comes to misdiagnosis of this illness are shocking. And one of the reasons is because these symptoms present themselves as something like anxiety and fatigue and depression. What was your particular experience with that? So I think for me, I mean, I had very little symptoms. My, the biggest symptom for me was fatigue. And as a professional athlete, my job is, is to be tired all the time. So the training, every time I thought now I'm, I'm feeling a little bit flattened from the week, it's, I was thought now I'm just doing my job. I'm just training, training properly. And then I wouldn't recover as well for the next session. And then just slowly grinding it down and down. And then, uh, and then only later when we started looking when the when because I mean I get we get uh, we I mean the, the the doctors and stuff are, follow us so carefully and the, the physiologists follow us so carefully we get assessed every week and still like no nothing came up just the fatigue and then slowly then there was the, the blood results started to just show that that there were some problems and then and only after looking for a long time did we did we find it so yeah it is it is quite a tricky tricky one to diagnose. After such a diagnosis, most people would take a knock to their confidence. How did you really take on that news and still push through the physical barriers to make sure you got to the Olympics? Yeah, so I mean, I think when I was diagnosed, I, I, I wrote the rowing off. I think there was a long time when I thought I wouldn't row again because I was just, it was about fighting, fighting for the life, fighting, making sure I could get, just get healthy again. And there was, I mean, a lot of, uh, a lot of things that the, the, the cancer could do and the medicine could do. The chemo was really bad. so. Through that whole time, I didn't really, I didn't really think of rowing or training or any of that. And then only towards the end, when I when I started getting better and the doctors were happy and we were moving on, then I started thinking, no, maybe we can row again. And then coming back to to the sport, it was took it really slow in the beginning. It was it was really I was so unfit, I was so fat, and <laughs> I had to I had to really wait for my body to to come online a little bit. And then when the doctors gave me it all clear, then I could really really put the hammer down. And I think. You know, I trained so well whilst I was sick. You know, I, I, I really thought I was doing every little bit to get faster and I wasn't getting faster, so I'd look for more. So then when I came back after the cancer, then I knew like, if I train like that now, it's the results are gonna come quickly. And I mean, they, they paid off quickly. I got, I got back on my feet super fast. So obviously, congratulations for winning this medal. What did it feel like? And just going forward, how is this victory helping you really align your goals for the coming years? Oh, I think it just it just gives gives me belief that we, we're doing the right stuff, we're training properly, and and the team is, is is in the right place to to move on. And then the next the next few years is about capitalizing on the on the medal and, and going one one better and getting the gold. Fantastic! Well, congratulations once more, and we look forward to your performance in 2019. For more information, go to www.campaignforcancer.co.za. That's campaign numeral four cancer.co.za. You can do more research about lymphoma.